Welcome back. Now, as heavy rains continue to wreak havoc in parts of Nakuru County, a section of youth in the area are now profiting from selling volcanic sand washed into the drainage systems along the Nakuru Marigat Road. This activity has, however, raised concerns among some residents who fear it could soon damage the road. This, as residents accuse the county government of failing to address clogged drainage systems, which has resulted in flooding in several estates. Here is Ken Gashuhi with the details. For over a week now, Nakuru City has been experiencing heavy rains, exceeding normal levels and causing flooding in several estates. However, residents are pointing an accusing finger at the county government for failing to maintain the drainage systems, which they say are currently clogged. <laughs> They need us tomorrow. So we expect this is to have to Volcanic sand from Menengai Crater has been identified as a major contributor to the block drainage systems. A few kilometers from the city, along the Nakuru Marigat Highway, a new business is thriving. Youth in the area have started collecting and selling sand from the block drainage systems. <laughs> While sand harvesting at this site is considered a potential danger to motorists as it may lead to the highway being cut off, County Environment Chief Officer Ken Mungai disagrees. On several occasions, transport on this highway has been disrupted by heavy boulders and sand washed onto the road, endangering both motorists and passengers. Whatever is happening here to us, we feel is uh, socially important to us because it is helping us and we are not incurring any cost as government. Because otherwise this sand would end up in Lake Nakuru and uh, two other blockages in the downsides of the CBD. That is Kaptemboa and Ronda. Urban farming has also been blamed for the heavy siltation of the city's drainage systems. Kenga Shuhi, KTN News. Let's talk about human-wildlife conflict. Following a series of fatal hyena attacks in Juja, 